Hey everybody, welcome to a video to supplement our expanded uh, deck guides for all the investigators. There's a bunch of weapons in the game and they all do different things. Uh, and kind of. Yeah. Some of them do, all do the, the same, same thing, thing really. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then rather than us like talk in detail about every weapon in, the, uh, in each of the guides, so rather than talking about like, you know, a gun over and over and over again, we're doing it here in these notable weapons video. Uh, it's kind of like the staples to go with that, and then we're also going to be doing it for spells, and then probably some clue-getting stuff, too. Should be good that we all yeah, just yeah, check yeah. if our just, mics are on. Just, <laughs> uh, I, guess, I, guess, I guess that's a good thing. You know, like when we're doing the Guardian views, you'll probably, if you go back and watch the one we've done, you'll notice whenever a, a weapon comes up, like, this is just another gun, it's another weapon from this cycle, it's an option for killing enemies. There's only so many ways to say this thing does more damage. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, yeah, and we're not going to talk about which ones are better, which scenarios in every video, because these videos are already long enough, so that's what we're doing here. Yeah. So let's dive in. We're going to talk about the first one here, which is Machete. Okay. Travis, why don't you bring about, talk about this guy? Uh, yeah, so Machete is like the baseline weapon, mostly because it is level zero, uh, and it is in the core set. Um, we're going to talk about these on Taboo, I believe, right? Yeah, on Taboo, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's like three to play, and then you get plus one for the attack. Um, if the attack enemy is the only enemy engaged two deals plus one damage takes up one hand slot so machete has a lot of really good things going for it uh it only costs three which is actually on the lower end for guardian weapons cost wise it has unlimited uses it gives you a bonus to your punch it gives you the it should give you the uh ever important extra damage um and it takes up one hand slot which is also great the plus one damage is particularly important because if you're you're not going to find us recommending weapons that don't do extra damage because it's better to just... If you do the extra damage, it's like a free action. Mm -hmm. You know, Lots of enemies have five health and you can't be afforded to spend five actions trying to kill them. I would like to take this window to recommend that you do not play Blackjack. <laughs> Level zero Blackjack? Yeah. I hope that one's not actually It's good. not. It's not thank God. Yeah. I don't think that would be the end, guys. It's pretty yeah. awful. Yeah. Um, it's so... Yeah, this one, so, like, you have to be only engaged with one enemy, which comes up a lot less often than you'd think, actually. Um, if Generally, if you're engaged with more than one enemy, um, especially in later scenarios where you don't have an alternative to this as your weapon, like, you're not in a good place. Yeah. You're in a very bad place. If you're in a position where you're engaged with multiple enemies and no one else in your group can help you handle the enemies in any fashion, you're in a really, really bad place. And yeah, you're if this did plus one damage, it probably wouldn't matter. <laughs> you're probably playing something a little bigger than a machete. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. nobody else on your team is fighting, and in order <laughs> to find multiple enemies, there have to be at least three of you. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it's probably never really going to come up. I mean, it's yeah. not even like they have to fight them. They just... They have to like just hold like, it for a turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you just hold this guy? No. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'll die if I do it. You're like, cool, going. I'll die right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Great standard weapon. Yes. Um, like, if you just pack this in your level, every level zero guardian deck, you will rarely be disappointed, if ever. But it does get boring, though. Yeah. 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 Uh, next up here is we got the to uh, the 45 automatic. This one is like, um, it's never like your main plan. But, you know, if you ever, a lot of people were going to recommend this is like, you need a sidearm. Which is cool because it's a gun, right? You know, it's, like, it's a great third, fourth, fifth weapon. Yeah, and then also like the upgrade uh, is in bad too if it's still in your deck. Like there's a lot of times where this just is as your third, fourth, fifth weapon is kind of just there, and then you're like, yeah, I'll upgrade it because I'm at the point where add mm -hmm. this my rolling deck we just played. It's yeah, fine card. And uh, the the base one is still like plus one is still a good chunk. You'll you'll probably get to five with that for the majority of fighters, which will be enough yep. to beat the majority of the enemies' uh, fight values on standard yeah now this this one is obviously like worse than machete in most regards it costs four instead of three we only get to use it four times but the bonus damage is unconditional yeah you just always get it yeah you just if you pass the test they take damage because bullet <laughs> yeah <laughs> no matter what yeah no matter what shot. yeah this is no like the what. baseline firearm weapon yeah. we'll be yeah. comparing a lot of cards to this yeah. i imagine if a firearm is worse than this and doesn't have a reason that it could be argued to be better, mm -hmm. do not play it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, next up here is we got the 45 Thompson. This is our baseline for our double-handed gun builds, um, where uh, we talk about big gun builds fairly often, um, where you're upgrading into a flamethrower or a lightning gun, a shotgun, something that takes up both your hand slots, 
And, well, you can definitely get away with two-hand weapons if you're playing lots of, or two one-handed weapons earlier in the campaign. If you're playing lots of cards that you want to, uh, that want to care about having the two-hand weapon, weapon, most prominently Bandolier, or even if you just want to reserve the slots in your deck, this is a solid choice for it. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes with five ammo. Um, you spend ammo, you get plus two, and get your plus one, plus two punch, and you get the extra damage as well. So, in comparison to the 45, you're paying two extra money and an extra hand slot for an extra shot and, and plus two on all of your combat checks, which is the two's very a very reasonable deal, mm -hmm. yeah. actually. That six hump can be a little tough to get over um, compared to the four, but it requires a little more resource commitment, but it's just fine. Yeah, yeah it's generally also too, like, because this is a supplemental to that, you're probably here, you might be here just watching it because you, you like our stuff, but also you, you might be here from the expanded guides, and we're also going to be talking a lot about, like, having a plan and an economy that goes with it, and, like, if you're going to be running this, you're not just, like, you're not just being like, I'll get this out somehow. Yeah, those are you're big gonna work considerations on what weapons you're playing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the other two, like, the upgraded ones here, they're a little bit more specialized than most other ex experience costing two-handed weapons are. Uh, the blue one, it gives you the money back from the bullets you spend, so not only is the weapon itself effectively free after you have used it, but uh, it's very good if you are playing it with effects that will allow you to increase the ammo total on it. Because mm -hmm. uh, it pays for things, it will, it will basically pay for things like extra ammunition or custom ammunition, things like that. Yeah. All while also killing things yeah. in the process. Yeah. yeah. The, also, other, the other one, like, man, the other one is incredibly campaign yes. Yes. specific. Yeah. It's also like, green, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, depend, depending on the, the campaign you're playing. Like, sometimes being able to shoot a bunch of rats at all at once is, like... It's, uh, it's, it's everything that's not Yeah, it's not, it's not only good, but it's, like, the best thing you ever could have thought of. Right yeah, now. or a bunch of, like, cats from Saturn yeah. or whatever. Yep. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, but not all the time. Zoogs. Yeah. yeah, no, like, this one does also, the upgrade 45 Thompson also does fill a niche where sometimes you want a third big two-handed gun. Um, this is, like, the cheapest experience two-hand gun. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's good for, again, the, the third slot, because generally you want to be playing, the, what, three weapons with two prepared for the worst. And um, also, you can... It's a nice intermediary if you want to be playing like a bandolier build and you need a better weapon or, or better economy, sorry, not a better weapon to play other things that you're spending your experience on. If you want to be playing uh, beat cops and you, need, you, know, you can't be afford to spend five experience mm -hmm. on your flamethrower or your lightning gun, you can get this and the beat cop for that. Also, like you'll get the money back from this to play your other expensive assets. Took me a little while to get that one together, but we got there. <laughs> we got, we got the point across. Next one here is we got a new one, Cyclopean Hammer. This just is going to show all over up. the place. It's just it's just <laughs> good, man. This card's just good. Uh, you attack for a bunch, and you can move things around. And if you succeed by three, you deal three damage instead of two. Uh, it's just like you can like knock a guy away, which is sometimes relevant. Kind of neat. Yeah. And it's sometimes relevant. More often than not, though, you're just going to choose to, like, have him stay there and kill him. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. 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 It's, just a, it's just a good weapon. Heck, yeah. Yeah, most, 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 most uh, blue characters have, you know, three-ish brain. Mm -hmm. Three or four, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, like, this this weapon more or less reads, like, plus three. Which is which is, uh, is which is what big. you need to uh, succeed by on yeah. the deal three Imagine damage. Imagine that. Yeah. Cool. It does like it just. It is like it just comes with an enchant weapon on it. Yeah, kind of. Kind of nice. Yeah. If you put an enchant weapon on it, you get to add your brain twice. Like Enchant blade here. Um, this is uh, a melee weapon that also has ammo on it. Uh, you see this a lot. We, it's we just batteries. Yeah, just batteries. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we see this a lot at our table. It's just a, a nice, <laughs> strong weapon that. Um, you don't need to use the charges on it. It's like for the, the gold one here on the left. Uh, you, can, you can spend the charge when you initiate the ability to get plus one fist and deal plus one damage on top of the plus one fist it's already given you. So if you're just fighting a rat uh, and you, you can just like attack at plus one and you don't need mm -hmm. to spend that. But if as soon as you have to start killing bigger things, you can start spending the charges and go. Uh, the upgraded ones, 
give you plus two fist base for the guardian one. You may spend a charge uh, if you succeed to deal plus one damage. So you do not need to spend charges if you miss. And if it's empowered and defeats an enemy, you draw a card and heal a horror. Both two nice things. Yep. The reason this one sees so much play our table is not because it's better than Machete, even though they are quite similar, it is because we play with Taboulis, which means that the Machete costs experience, so you can't include it in your level zero deck. And uh, this is just a really solid replacement for it. Yeah, I don't know about these guys, but I play this one because it's a lightsaber. Yeah. This is pretty cool, yeah. That's kind of cool. No, it's just a really solid card. Yeah. I quite often will play it as like my third weapon and then cut it later for something else. Yeah, the upgraded one is also a, like a very solid place to be. Yeah, plus two just for like the odd damage is pretty solid. Yeah, though, that is generally generally efficient in, like into the end of the campaign, really. Mm -hmm. The only thing that the purple one has going against it is the fact that it is a purple card. Yeah. It's okay, we'll get a five punch uh, purple investigator because yeah, extra actions to fight monsters on bow yeah. right open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wide open, yeah. baby. Uh, but the, this one gets an extra charge, and you can also spend two charges to empower the blade, getting plus one additional punch and dealing an extra damage each time. So even if your punch isn't that big, you can still generally convert this into damage. Yeah. Uh, one thing that is worth, uh, worth noting about the level zero one is that when you spend the charge, you do get the extra plus one punch. It's worded like a little confusingly, mm -hmm. but uh, you, like, you always get the plus one for fighting with it. And when you spend the charge, you get an extra plus one. Mm -hmm. uh, this next one we talked about in our staples video, so we can just kind of briefly also touch on it here. It's flamethrower. <laughs> flame good. Can't yeah, well, play it with bandolier, but it good. Yeah. Uh, it just kills a bunch of enemies engaged with you. Four damage is a lot. Plus it's a four lot. fists is a lot. Four yeah, and also just is nukes. A lot. Four nukes resources dudes. is not a lot. Yeah. Good card. Yep. Let's keep it going. Yeah, some of these is just like, this is a, a weapon, it's good. There's not much more we can say about it. Yeah. Like, yeah. also like this one, also... Yeah, this is like kind of the go-to for your bandolier builds. Yeah. It was for a long time, yeah. yeah. I mean, still, like it still, it's still is, sometimes because you can't play bandolier with flamethrower. It's true. Until we get extra body stuff yeah, out. Bo second body. Yeah, yeah just a plus five deals three damage. Yeah, it's plus three five out. is a lot, man. It's a lot. That's a big number. It's also cool. It is cool. It is cool. It is. I think Speaking it should, of cool, I think it should use secrets <laughs> instead of uh, instead of ammo, because it's not. I mean, like bullets. yeah, yellow investigators should have some more synergy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Roland uh, should be able to play. Uh, <laughs> you should. Truth or fiction, or whatever. Thirty-two Colts not one that we're gonna see in like all of our guides. You need to have like a high fist to really take advantage of it, mm -hmm. but it's a cheap, cheap weapon. Mm -hmm. And then the upgraded one, not only is it even cheaper, but you can return it to your hand and reload it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's This is a real solid sidearm for guys right yeah. Yeah, who have five punch. Or like are planning on getting your punch. Oh, you like should always be planning to get your punch up. Yeah, yeah that's... There's, uh, there's a weird bandolier build that I see on Arkham DB every so often. I've played it myself, where you play bandolier to hold your boxing gloves. And then use the 32 Colt for damage. Mm -hmm. It's neat. pretty solid, um, like a lot of moving parts, but uh, the 32 Colt is a, it, it's just good. You just, just have to be fight. able to, you yeah. got to be able to solve the fight action yourself. It's not going to help you with that. Yeah. 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 This next one's a little bit weird, but I couldn't not include it. The grenades. We're gonna, it's going to be a lot of videos because grenades are just sick. They blow They're people really up. cool, yeah. yeah. They blow people up. Are yeah. they good? Like, a jury's still kind of out on that for four experience, but... Like, they're cool. Yeah, yeah, they take up no slots, and that is kind of a big deal. That is a big deal, yes. Uh, three supplies, and the fact that their uses are supplies. Supplies are much easier to come by than ammo is. Oh, they're ranged. You can grenade the bird, uh, yeah. They are ranged. You can you can hit the bird <laughs> with a grenade. You can, yeah. Uh, you can also hit that bird with a grenade and then kill the whippoorwills that are there, too. Oh, my God. Look at that. Uh, Just throw yeah. grenades at birds. Yeah. And this, knock uh, this guy. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the fact that this one does damage to each enemy at the location, that's pretty good. You can use it for clearing out all kinds of small time stuff. Yeah. Even just like poking one big guy and clearing out uh, clearing out whatever else is there. You just got to be careful that uh, there aren't other investigators at your location. Yeah, and then also for this this video too, with the notable weapons, is I kind of just went through the, the weapons and chose all of them mm -hmm. that, number one, weren't like just like blackjack. Um, <laughs> and then number two, ones that like you don't have to build around in an extensive sense, right? right? Like, they're just... Like the Hungering Blade. No, uh, that is on this list. Yeah, because it's cool. It is cool. Yeah, that's also yeah. the thing. If you're cool, you made the list. 
Uh, this one was like the original shotgun. Uh, the more you succeed by, the more damage you deal to a maximum of five. It's like it was the original the boss killer. big boss killer. And it still has a home in a lot of decks today, too. Yeah, it's if a great you, boss killer. Yeah. If you fail and you're attacking an enemy that is engaged to another investigator, you also deal bonus damage based on how badly you failed. Yeah. So, like, don't. Just don't. Be, be a little careful about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, this is like the cool one. Mm hmm. Lightning gun is the good one, but this is yeah, the cool yeah, one. Yeah, this is the cool one. <laughs> this one functions pretty good in the Mandalorian builds again, being a two-handed weapon, as like you can, you know, roll around with your survival knife or whatever, your enchant blade, your offhand, mm -hmm. and then like you just have this for when, you know, Mister, uh, like an actual boss monster shows up, or just mindless dancers. Alejandro. Yeah, Alejandro, you just like blow him into a different dimension. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Here's two fishes yeah. blows, and he's like, no. Stop. <laughs> uh, speaking of blowing people to different dimensions. Oh my god, plus five. We got the shotgun. Uh, sorry, the sledgehammer. Let's <laughs> read the shotgun here. We got the, the shot, shot hammer, the sledge <laughs> gun. The sledge gun. Uh, this one is, uh, this one's still new. We haven't played with it. Three actions to, on the upgraded one to fight, plus five, deal plus five damage. So it's That's an attack. That's a lot of damage. And it's like one of those things too, like people would ask, why is this printed this way? Because sometimes it's just better to make one test than it is to make three tests. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then also with this one too, the, the level zero one when you start, the minus one fist and deal plus one damage with this attack reads kind of like an inverse machete. And I mean, it kind of is, right? Mm -hmm. um, and if you have a high fist, you're going to be bumping it up other ways and like it'll still do some work. It does take up two sl uh, hand slots. Just something to be relevant of. Yeah, you can you can wear it around in a bandolier yep. if you want to. Yeah. You could. Um, especially with the upgraded one here with you can use it to just crush big dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Crush away. Yeah. Yeah. Smash. Uh, why you'd want another weapon? They're probably survival knives. Mm -hmm. They've got to be, right? Oh, yeah. Speak of the survival devil. knife. Yeah, so the levels are a version of this one is like it's fine, but quite often it exists as a placeholder for the level two version. Uh, it's a zero, level zero uh, asset that costs two to play. <laughs> Just have like a it's been a, it's, I mean, I, it's been a long day, man. It's, it has, it has. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just called it a, a sledgehammer or a shotgun. So. Yeah. Uh, as an action you can fight, you get plus one fist fist attack, and this is an awful, awful ability for a weapon to have, because it doesn't deal extra damage, it only gives you plus one fist, but as a reaction, after an enemy attack deals damage to you during the enemy phase, you can exhaust the survival knife to fight back at plus two fists and deal an extra damage. The, I know what Brent's going to say, it's like that the first ability has its niche, like whittling down enemies so you can kill them with a the second ability. Um, but like this can't be your primary enemy killing weapon at level zero. Is a great other weapon, but it cannot be your your yeah. number one plan. Patently false, but okay. <laughs> Look, you can, but you're gonna have a, you're gonna have an awful time. Yeah. Uh, it depends. It depends what difficulty you're playing on, and like how many people you're playing with, really. Yes. But um, I suppose it's my have a niche in like yeah. that in yellow, but. <laughs> Yeah, the main uh, the main thing that I disagree with is that like fight you get plus one for the attack is it's not an awful ability for a weapon to have. It's only an awful ability if the weapon doesn't do anything else. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you don't. Well, I think uh, to yeah, go on like, that, you don't want your plan to be just using no, the fight no. action on this during your turns. You want a better weapon for that. Yeah. But level two survival knife. Your plan could be two of these. Uh, so this yes. one of the two action. Works well. Yeah. As an action, you can fight. You get plus two fist attack, but no extra damage. And then the change is to the the actual change is to the reaction ability, where you get to attack them before they attack you. Yeah, and it deals. Uh, you get plus. You get plus two. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the yeah. same. It's the same ability. It's just the timing. Yeah, and even that, the like the, the fight action different. on this one, on the second the level two one, shouldn't be your main plan, as previously stated. Uh, however, this having one, two like, of them kind of could be. be for stabbing. However, you could yeah. move into a location, attack for t plus two, which is a nice chunk to go get one damage. Do the remaining four when they attack you, and then yeah. that's that's a plan. Yeah, this yeah. is my favorite offhand weapon in the game. It just it's an extra action a lot of the time. Yep. Yeah. It is often the bandolier weapon. Yeah. Uh, largely because uh, you can use this to kill a three health enemy without expending any bullets or yeah, really having to action. do very much work. Yep. Yeah. Great card. Also, if the enemy has more than I don't know, maybe four health. 
You can shaver. use your big gun to like chunk them once and then be like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stab you first. <laughs> it is a shame it's from a uh, not so accessible yeah. expansion. Yeah, the return twos, yeah. Yeah, the, the, even the level zero one is also fairly solid. You just have yeah. to have a plan for what to do with the damage. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cool card. <laughs> Hungering Blade. This is a three cost asset that costs one experience. You can only play one per your deck, which is like really this card's downfall in my opinion. Um, yeah. As additional cost put into play, you have to search your bond cards for three copies of Bloodlust Picture beside it and shuffle them into your deck. Uh, as a fight action, you get plus one f fist for the attack for each attached copy of Bloodlust. The attack deals plus some damage, and if the attack defeats an enemy, you put a, a resource on the Hungry Blade as an offering. The Bloodlusts are when you draw them, you have to remove two offerings from the Hungry Blade to attach the Bloodlust to it. If you cannot, you take a whore and shuffle the Bloodlust back into your deck. Is a lightning bolt while attack with the hungering blade. You shuffle bloodlust into your deck. You deal plus one damage to this attack, max one per attack. Once per attack. I love that the hungering blade sees no difference between a rat and a man. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. It's just like, it's no, just no, it's all good. The blood. Yeah, yeah, like rat, man. This is a really big. fun weapon. They're all the same. Yeah, it's only having one of it sucks. Um, however, like, it's still just, your fist is probably pretty good. And mm. this still just deals plus one damage, right? I, I've played this exactly once in a Zoe deck where I used Mr. Rook to find both it and then to dig out the Bloodlust oh, later. Nice, yeah. um, that was here with you guys. And, mm -hmm. But uh, it, it worked really good. It was a lot of fun. But you do have to work to make this one good. Yeah. Yeah, that being said, when it's good, it is good. It is very good, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, like the fact that the Bloodlust turn into free vicious blows. Yes. Like, yeah. yeah, and all you have to do is just all right. Do what you're. Yeah. You just keep killing stuff. Yeah, just do what you're supposed <laughs> yeah. to be doing yeah, anyway. Yeah. Like, what's yeah. what? What is your job exactly? Yeah, yeah, not, that's right. I kill things. Yeah, this not, is like a very solid replacement for like machete as well. Mm -hmm. yep. Just like one experience, and it just does. Uh, you don't get plus one unless you have a bloodlust, but. Yeah. Like it does yeah. basically just do a machete's job. This card is an excellent candidate if you are playing an upgrade heavy deck. Yeah. Uh, because things like Trusted will help offset the downsides of this weapon, and like Enchant Weapon on the Hungering Blade oh can be God. a lot of damage. Sick. Does that Hungering Blade have spikes to that guy's hand? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, it's eating you. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, all right, well, those were uh, the Guardian weapons. We're going to go through some Survivor and some Rogue weapons as well, just kind of touching on a few of the notable Rogue weapons ones. are my favorite ones. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I was. I thought this was a blue weapon video. No, there's there's other classes too. No. Unfortunately, that we need to cover. Yep. Are we gonna talk about strange solution, Justin? Uh, I not, was gonna, but it did not make it. I, I actually, I was like, I opened it. I'm like, do I put this on? And I'm like, no, it's not a weapon. What was that time code? I was too busy riffing. <laughs> uh, 18 Derringer. This is a survivor weapon that's in the Stella Clark deck. You get plus two fist, deal plus one damage with this attack, and if you fail, place one ammo on it. Um, it's for the survivors who fight. Yeah, it's good. It's going to do the job. Yeah. Great even, actually. Yeah. Yep. The level the level 2 one is notably better in actually every conceivable <laughs> way. I mean, as you'd hope for. Uh, yeah, yeah. I upgrade, mean, like, no normally I'm looking for, like, it to be better at one thing. <laughs> but this is just better in Could all ways. Could you imagine? Uh, more symbols, like more, every, yeah, every, more numbers, <laughs> didn't take a hand slot yeah. anymore. It's like, what? Like, pretty, pretty much everything about the level 2 is better, where you get an extra bullet, you can commit it for an extra symbol. It costs one less. Magic the fight action weapons. doesn't give you an extra, like an extra plus uh, anything. It's still just plus two, yeah. and you still only deal one extra damage, which is good. Red weapons should not be better than no. blue weapons. Uh, oh, yeah. However, <laughs> when you fail, uh, which I suppose I should phrase as "if you fail," but uh, <laughs> when you fail, you know, you, fight, yeah. <laughs> you get to place the ammo back. But then also the next time you trigger this fight ability this round, you get an extra plus one for the attack. So if you miss, it's not the worst thing. You yeah. can just try again, but better. Yep. Yeah. Uh, next up here is we got Chainsaw. <laughs> this is actually better than some blue weapons. Not all of them, though. Yeah. Uh, four cost, four experience, three fist. Yeah, you could have made it four fists just to really Why not? fit with it. Yeah. Uses three supplies as an action. Spend one supply, fight. You get plus two fist and deal plus two damage for this attack. If this attack fails, either place one supply on a chainsaw or deal one damage to the attacked enemy. Um, the uh, Maybe I'm wrong, and there's like cases it where it matters. It is like Armageddon. It is like Armageddon, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. um, but if you fail, I'd probably put the supply on because two damage is more than three damage. Yeah, three damage is more than one. Yeah, yeah. just uh, yeah, but unless unless the enemy's got like four health or something. Yeah, or like it's the thing that kills it and it yeah. was going to kill you in the, yeah. the phase, and you yeah. just want to be sure of it. But uh, as a big weapon for survivors. Yeah. This one also has that nice thing going for it where it's got supplies. And if you are not blue or green, extra bullets are literally impossible. Yeah. yeah. Um, not figuratively. I'm not, that's not hyperbole. At, at, this, at this point in time, you cannot do it. Uh, supplies, though. Supplies you can get out of neutral. Mm -hmm. But, Brian, what about putting Versatile into your deck and getting Venturer? I'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I Terrible. Thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it, it's, it's, a, it's a good card, and it's a big red weapon. Yeah. Yeah. 25 automatic. I like this one. Yeah, this is a sweet card. Uh, so it's fast. The, the level zero one uses four ammo. Spend an ammo's in action to fight. If the attack enemy is exhausted, you get plus two fist and deal plus one damage to this attack. Not, not great. Not great. It's, you know, like you're going to be spending actions to evade your green, but then you have to spend an extra action to shoot. So you basically spent two actions to deal two damage, which, as Travis said earlier, is not the rate you're looking for. Yeah. How, how? Sometimes if you're green, it is kind of the rate you're looking for, because you're just <laughs> like, like, is like, I have six damage actions this turn, than no damage. Yeah. and, uh, like, I can afford to dump extra actions into the thing I'm attempting to do. Uh, then it, when it, it... There's also the bonus of, like, a lot of times it's green, you can, like get an evasion and then other stuff too yeah whether you're getting a card from pickpocketing so like yes. you're not actually spending the action or you get it from breaking and entering but or that's, whatever that's mm -hmm. the classic green way just try to get as much advantage of all your actions as you can the upgraded one uh improves the card a good chunk it's fast four ammo uh still costs four spend an ammo to fight if the attack enemy is exhausted you get plus two fists and deal plus one damage for the attack and as a reaction after you evade an enemy or location, you perform the above fight ability without spending an action. It is great. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. You know? All the problems that we complained about with the level zero one are fixed now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just Pretty like much. the perfect green weapon. It really is. It really no, this is. is a fantastic design. Kudos to whoever stuck this one in the design file. Yeah. All right. Next one here, Brent. I'll let you take this one. You got the, <laughs> the Beretta, Beretta M1918. Um, so this is uh, getting into some of the big, the big green weapons. We got a submachine gun. This one, uh, like it costs four. It commits for a bunch of symbols, but probably don't because you've paid a lot of XP to put it in your deck. Uh, four ammo. You get to exhaust it and spend one ammo. You fight. You get plus four punch and deal plus one damage for the attack if you succeed by two or more. Either ready it or the attack deals an additional plus one damage. If you succeed by four or more, you get to do both. This is the headspace that most most green weapons exist in where you must succeed by more than just usually baseline two. Mm -hmm. usually two in order for the gun to really do anything mm -hmm. however this one does deal two damage even if you don't hit that baseline which is pretty good um, most green characters don't, don't have good punch scores except one of them <laughs> you know who you are <laughs> yeah uh, yeah. So a lot of them are looking for for some of these bigger numbers that would be excessive if it were a blue. Yes. If it were a blue yeah. card. Yeah. Like lightning gun. Yeah. Thrower have, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, lightning guns <laughs> is just like. Yeah, lightning guns. Is <laughs> it's just there to be exciting. Yeah. You're yeah. like plus five. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so many fists. So much. It's like the book symbols on the yeah. Necronomicon. Uh, the Chicago typewriter is a just a different flavor of big green gun. It costs a little more to play, and. When you spend an ammo you fight, you may spend any number of additional actions when you perform the attack. You get plus two punch for the attack for each action being spent, including the ability's action cost, then it deals plus two damage. So again, it's just a way to uh, allow green characters who have mediocre fight scores to be relatively sure that the shot is going to hit something. Right? Uh, and then in you know who, this killer. is just damage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. When you're playing Tony. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just, just damage. Cards are pretty yeah. okay in green characters and great in Tony. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they do also, yeah. uh, the majority of green, not quite every green weapon, but I think all of the firearms are illicit. So you also have that going for you, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right, next one here is we got Garot Wire. Yeah, Garot Wire is not illicit because it's just piano wire. It's, it's, the, it's the, it's the yeah, thing it's you're weapon. doing that's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> no leg, no, no, no hand. 
Uh, so this one, yeah. is, it is a little bit weird. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, it takes up your ne oh, yeah. necklace slot, and during your turn, as a lane bolt, you can exhaust it to fight. You get plus two for this attack. Use only on an enemy with exactly one remaining health. Um, this isn't your game plan. This is a supplement to your killing strategy. Yep. But like it's going to show up in a good chunk of the decks, so I figured we put put it here because it's just like a good card. Yeah. When I first what? saw this card, I was super excited about it, and uh, it did not disappoint. Yeah. Uh, a lot of enemies are difficult because they have like three hit points. Most melee weapons deal two damage. Do the <laughs> map. Uh, it also plays a very solid supplement to a big weapons build where it doesn't. You don't need a bandolier to make that happen. You just have your necklace slot, and enemies that have you know like four health. Yeah. You don't have to spend a second bullet on. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's kind of a big deal. Sick. No, it is a nice card. Yeah. Green gun, shoot. Brand Green gun. Fire. Yeah, we yeah. got uh, the, this Mauser C96 is kind of the thing that makes level zero green combat decks a possibility. Uh, because before this, we had like a Derringer. And that was pretty I mean, much Derringer's it. like fine. It's okay, but it only has three bullets. Yeah. Just don't miss. Uh, yeah, just <laughs> don't miss. Anyway, the Mauser it has five, five ammo, which is oh, one it's more than one more than uh, than our friend the uh, the forty five. Uh, however, in trade off, we have to exhaust it and spend an ammo to fight. We get plus one and deal plus one damage, and then if you succeed by two or more, you get to pick between readying it or gaining a resource. Uh, it's just kind of better than the forty five, huh? No. Not if you miss. No. Not if you need to shoot yeah, more like the risk. This, the risk is uh, the risk is much higher, and if you're not Tony Morgan, like plus one only puts you to four, so you got to make you got to so, yeah, got to work it yeah. some some other way um, in order to get the ready or the resource. Because so if you're not getting for those, Tony. yeah, Tony yeah, like is, a lot of things are just better for Tony. Tony. That's like see, that's like his thing. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, uh, the upgraded one gets an extra symbol, uh, a much more relevant one if you're playing a combat-oriented deck. It costs one less. And uh, we still got the same five ammo. We get plus two punch instead, which is the amount that the game asks us to succeed by to get one of the extra effects. And if we succeed by four or more, we get both of the effects instead. Always a green light when they give you enough to succeed by the yeah. amount they yeah. want you to succeed yeah. by. Let's go. Yeah, it's kind of good. Uh, I have played a lot of campaigns with the upgraded Mauser being my primary plan for dealing damage to things. Mm -hmm. It's good. So and it does it. It's a it, solid it does, gun. It yeah, like does it, have the damage output. There, there's you definitely had some uh, some situations where you're like, so I shot at this guy and I needed to kill two other guys this turn and I missed. So like, fuck me. I, but that's that's what but, you, when you're a rogue, you have yeah, to always yeah, think it on your feet. That's that's uh, that's just how green is. Yeah. And sometimes sometimes you got to improvise and the plan isn't very good. Uh, and our last green weapon here is the sawed-off shotgun. <laughs> you know the other shotgun? This is like that one, but with less barrel. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't get any plus punch, but yeah. other than that, it's the same. Uh, maximum of six. Oh yeah. Instead okay. of uh, instead of five, so you can definitely one shot a much greater percentage of the investigators. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. If you miss. Yeah. Yeah. Which you probably will because you don't get any. You don't. Yeah. Bonus. Like you, if you're playing this card, this one is like pretty, Tony. pretty yeah. steeply a, a build around. Like, you're gonna want a way to make those fight actions count. Yeah. yeah. Because the gun doesn't give you one. Yeah. You got you got to figure that part out on your own. All right. We have two uh, neutrals here that we're going to just quickly cover. Oh, it's the paddle. Yeah, the paddle, time-worn brand, it's five cost, five experience. As an action, if it's ready, fight, you get plus two fists and deal plus one damage for this attack. And as an action, you can exhaust it to fight. Add your brain to your skill value for this attack. This attack deals plus three damage. If this attack defeats an elite enemy, draw three cards max once per game. Takes up one hand slot. So five experience is a lot. Yeah, five money is a lot. Five money is a lot, but it, it has a very consistent damage output. Yeah. Have, this... I, have I tricked myself? Can you, only, you can only draw the cards once per game, right? You can use the second ability multiple times per game. No. I think the... I read it as a, the second ability is only yeah, once. Like the, the, I think the max once per game is the entire ability, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, that's how I, that's yeah. how I, but I mean, I get surprised by this game all the time. Sometimes. Yeah. So. yeah. No, this one, uh, this one's like pretty white bread. Yeah. Um, like it's not. Yeah, but it's like white bread with peanut butter on because it's good. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Or like Nutella and gold yeah. also tastes good. Nutella does taste good. Uh, yeah, no, it's just, you don't see us play it here on the channel that much, not because it's a bad card. It's a very, very good card. It's, it's just, just not exciting. It's just boring. Yeah. But. Uh, 
It can do very little, if anything, wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's also another solid candidate for like the up, the weapon upgrades builds, mm -hmm. where like you know, you're never going to run out of bullets, so that part doesn't that doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. On the last one here, we got ornate bow. This one, it's uh, spend an ammo to fight. Sorry, I guess I should do the cost. Four cost, three experience. Two hands, uses one ammo, limit one ammo on it. As an action, you can spend an ammo to fight. This attack uses foot instead of fist, and you get plus two foot. You will plus two damage to this attack. As an action, you knock another arrow, place one ammo on ornate bow. Um, this one's definitely not like a choice for every fighter. Obviously, you need no. high foot. But it is going to show up in enough of our uh, expanded guides that it's a thing. This yeah. used to be a green weapon. Yeah, it used to be a green weapon. Before green had weapons. Yeah, it's true. Um, but it's just uh, if it's what you want to be doing. If you have foot and you want to be fighting, Ornate Bow is a great thing to consider. Yeah. There, are, there are a lot of characters who can play Ornate Bow <clears throat> and are not good at doing damage, mm -hmm. but they could be. Yeah. Um, such as Ursula Downs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I mean, like, it is fun to play with. Like, it's, yeah. it deals three damage, which is a good number. And you can just feel the of the arrow when you get yeah. that shot in. No, yep. this this one could very easily be a green weapon. Yep. Because the risk reward on it is very high. <laughs> Where like when you're, you're shooting people, play. you're just getting you're just getting three damage and it didn't really cost you very much. They probably just want her so they'll be able to play it. Yeah. 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 I mean she would be able to play it anyway. It's a relic. Yeah, wait a minute. They probably wanted survivors to play it too. Yeah, they probably yeah. They're okay. Yeah. Yeah, like the, the I thing imagine if this was multi class, it probably would be red yeah. green today. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's a fine uh, neutral weapon, though. Yeah, I think I think I agree. Yeah, because yeah. It, the downside of missing is pretty, it is, is pretty, pretty high. real. There are a lot of things you can do to counteract that, but uh, particularly like, in green, some in red. But then yeah. you but then uh, you look at the inverse, you look at the lightning gun, and it just yeah. shoots. And if you miss, you just shoot again. Yeah, like, yeah. okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'll try again. <laughs> Sick. Those were the notable weapons for this video. Quick shout out to the Patreons, uh, the patrons on our Patreon. Thank you for that. Um, awesome. Would, if you want to add anything about this, or if you think there's any weapons that I did not include in this list that you thought I should talk about, you can yell at me in the comments, but please don't yell too hard. I'm very fragile. Um, otherwise, we'll be back next week for some more Arkham Horror content. Have a good one, and as always, GG's.